Hello, I'm Hall Grow 2. I'd like to welcome you to my studio here located in upstate New York. I'm about 250 miles north of New York City. Today we're going to focus on one painting of a classic grouping of red delicious apples I have here situated right behind me. Now at this point we're going to talk a little bit about composition and how I'm actually going to frame this pyramid of apples using uh, what's called a viewfinder. Yes, all I've done is taken uh, a piece of uh, paper. This is actually a piece of like notebook paper that I've uh, folded in half and ju then just cut out like a rectangular shape here. Open it up and then you have a really nice viewfinder that you can look through and actually decide how you want to frame your composition. And looking at the pyramid of apples a little bit closer and you'll notice that Around the apples I have all sorts of like old branches and uh, leaves that I found outside that I sort of used to add to the composition. So you've got the angle here in the bottom. Okay, then the midpoint's right about here. I have my large bristle brush, a number eight brush, and uh, taking a little bit of the uh, linseed oil, putting it down here, and I'm going to work with a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue that I have here over in the corner and my goal will be to go from dark perhaps to a little bit lighter with this gray blue so it's a little bit of titanium white mixed in with ultramarine blue with a tinge of uh, burnt umber in there to sort of neutralize it warm it up a little bit You know, it's about having fun. You shouldn't have to struggle when you're painting. Look at these apples. You notice that there's uh, tops, there's bottoms, there's fronts, there's backs, there's the sides, left and right. You really got to realize that they are, uh, for the most part, based on cubical forms. For uh, the secondary planes, I'm going to take my darker valued brush and actually use a little bit of lizard crimson a little bit of linseed oil, mix up a darker value at first. Some of the secondary planes, I've got this area back here. I'm gonna move in here. So I've got that same tonality on my brush and uh, I'm gonna bring this around like that. Yeah, moving down to a, a synthetic uh, brush that approximates a sable, it's a number two brush. And I'm gonna mix up a little bit of uh, cadmium red and alizarin. Okay, we're looking right down at the spot of light I was describing. There's the stem sticking out and there's the leaf behind it. And then that spot of light moves off to the right. As I move back you can see that spot of light within the larger context. Then I'm noticing there's a little bit of light over here. And we've got the top. See now I'm going to model this brush stroke a little bit further. That. Go back in and get a little bit more red. Come across. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit of lizard and crimson. Take my scraper and clean up some of this. I want to mix up some variation on uh, cad yellow, cad yellow, and a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to bring out. All right, let's see if I can suggest some of these leaves that we're uh, studying now. It's amazing how much texture they have to them. You can sort of see I have this uh, a little bit closer and you can see this leaf and the texture. See the texture, see what's coming from underneath right there? And I can scrape right into it. It's, it's nice to allow that to come through. And this will allow the paint to drag across. So I come across with my brush like this to sort of discover the form. Within the texture. And then I'm gonna come across and restate that contour by painting the form of the leaf. 
I want to keep that very atmospheric back there. And sort of bring the paint over a little bit, sort of thin it. Or take or just pat down if it's overstated. Using that same small brush to come right down in here, sort of build the area where the stem emerges out from. Come back across the top with a little bit of red. Okay, at this point I'm going to get into uh, some of the background and, uh, you know, move some warms into the uh, cool areas that are in the back. Allow the color to move around. Uh, pretty satisfied with the way this painting's turning out. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with refinement, but uh, for now I want to get into that background. So let's see, perhaps a little bit of uh, yellow ochre and some other tonalities back there. Use the same brush to soften uh, some of the leaves. Push that back there. Bring that right down. Okay, now I'm going to mix up a little bit of uh, lighter. Looking for some of the lights again, slowly working up to highlight. And the final touches with just a little bit of uh, titanium white, quick dashing highlights. 